Let's say we're building houses. We'll use a blueprint that details the attributes of the house, like how many rooms and what it's made of. The blueprint also has instructions for how to assemble each part of the house. In Java, we have classes. Each class contains a list of attributes and instructions for how to create an instance of itself. An attribute is a characteristic of an object. Classes can also define the behaviors for an object. A behavior is an action that an object can perform. These classes are like blueprints for creating objects. An object is an instance of the class. It has specific values for its attributes. Each house we build from the blueprint is an instance of the architect's design. So each object we create is an instance of the class. As we build each house, we are instantiating house objects. To instantiate is to call the constructor to create an object. The constructor is a block of code that has the same name as the class and tells the computer how to create a new object. Before we can build a house, we have to designate land to build it on. In Java, we don't have land. We have memory space. In this case, we need to designate memory space and label it for a house object. Then we give a name for the object. This name is called a reference variable. A reference variable is a variable that points to an object. Think of the reference variable like a street address. Next, we instantiate a house object for the reference variable to point to, like building a house at an address. We use the new keyword to indicate that we want to instantiate the new object. Then we indicate the type of object we want to create. To get the instructions for creating our house object, we call its constructor using empty parentheses. I can make a house for my friend, or one for my parents, or as many other houses as I want. Each of these houses will have their own set of attributes based on the house class. The values of these attributes represent the state of the house. The state of an object refers to the attributes represented by the object's instance variables. Now we can instantiate all the objects we want from the classes we develop.